For the longest time, whenever someone would ask me to do a piece of art for them, I would either hem haul around and take forever to do it, or I just never would do it, to be honest. Typically, it was the latter. And recently, my stepdaughter's girlfriend asked me to do her a Billie Eilish painting. I told her I would, and then six months later, I finished it. And it only took me about three or four hours to do this. Why did it take me six months, you ask? Well, honestly, I don't know. And the only thing I can really think of is there's still a small part of me that kind of feels like people only ask me to do art because it makes me feel good or it's to pander to me. I'm not sure. I know it's a self-conscious thing I have with art where I don't feel my art is good enough for people to really want and like. And I've only really started to get over that in the last few years. And what's really helped me is setting up as an art vendor at local events because people will actually come and spend their hard-earned money on art prints of my art and stickers and t-shirts and comic books I've made. I especially love it when people will stop me in a bar or something and it's like, hey man, are you the guy that drew those comics? And that's happened on numerous occasions, and they'll ask me when the fourth issue is coming out. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm getting there. It's so weird too to see people actually enjoying my art because to me, I always feel like my art isn't really good enough to be appreciated. But then again, I think that's most artists' thing. They kind of feel like their art isn't deserved of being appreciated. And I think that honestly leads to you making better art. But also, it can be a horrible roadblock and stop you from creating art, period. And I think recognizing that is an incredibly important part of creating art. And progressing as an artist. It's not even necessarily gaining the talent you need to produce the kind of work you want to produce. It's mainly getting over the mental block. Anyone can sit down and draw over and over and over and paint constantly and get better. But the thing is, painting one thing that you don't like can really stop you from painting more stuff. So you just have to power through it. It's like that saying that I think Jake Parker from Inktober said it was finished not perfect. And I don't know the guy well enough. All I know is that one saying has really changed my artistic life. I say it all the time and I tell every artist I know about it. The most important thing you can do as an artist is finish your art. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, it's not for you to judge that. I know that sounds like heresy, but that's the truth. When you create art, it is not for you to judge whether it's good or bad. It's up to the viewer. Because there have been several pieces I've drawn that I thought were absolutely terrible. And then someone would look at it and be like, oh wow, this is incredible. You know, will you draw me something like this? And I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. So you just have to learn that not everything you hate, everyone hates. And your art is never going to be as good as you want it to be ever. And I think that's also just a common mentality for an artist. Hating your art is a very healthy way to become a better artist, I think. Now granted, like I said, it can become a roadblock, but you have to power through that. I think one of the reasons I undervalue my art so much is because I value art so much. I know that sounds very counterintuitive, but let me explain. I appreciate the time and the talent and the dedication it takes to put into a piece to really make it good, you know, to really show that this is the artist expressing themselves. So when I see a really good piece of art that influences me, which my art really never does that, I feel that my art is hacky, almost to a point. I think any artist worth his salt is just gonna have that mentality. And that's just that drive to get better and better. Which is why I always say that the most important thing you can give someone is your time. That's the one most valuable asset you cannot buy. I have a very basic art philosophy and it's that anything you put time and effort into into practicing and getting better at, whether it be painting or playing the guitar or cheerleading, anything that you put time and effort into to get better at and to master is a form of art. And I challenge anyone to disagree with me on that. It's like that story that Picasso told. I don't know if this is true or not, but it was something he had said along the lines of he was at a cafe and a lady had asked him to draw a picture for her and he drew a little crappy smiley face and he's like, here's this. And she's like, oh, okay. He's like, that'll be $5,000. She's like, it took you 10 seconds. He's like, no, it took me 40 years to draw this. As probably untrue as that story is, the purpose of the story still stands. It didn't take him the 10 seconds to draw the face, it took him the 40 years to get the experience to draw what he drew. And I totally get that, and I totally respect that in art so much, which is why I think I undervalue my art so much, and I think a lot of artists do it for the same reason. I think the more you appreciate and you value art, the more you depreciate and devalue your own art. Because I know how that feels. I know how it feels to have your art valued, and it's the greatest feeling in the entire world. And I love contributing that feeling to other people, especially people who are like-minded, and I know how hard it is to value your own art. So if I were to have a point to this whole spiel, it would be that underappreciating your art is a healthy and good thing, but also can be horrendously detrimental and a bad thing. So the best way to progress as an artist is to strike that balance, where you can look at your art and say, I need to get better, but also be able to look at your art and be like, man, I've put a lot of practice into this. So you need to apply that value you have towards other people's art to your own art, because realize that you have put years upon years upon years of time and effort and practice into this, just like gymnasts, just like tennis players, just like chefs. 
It's all an art form. It's something that you train and you hone your skills and you try to master. That's the drive of an artist. You don't have to be good. You just have to have that ambition and that drive and the passion for it. That's what makes an artist. So the bottom line is, as Stone Cold would say, if you have a passion for art and you strive to get better and you can see the beauty in other people's art and you can see everyone else's passion and their time, then you, my friend, are an artist. And artists make art. Just like this Billie Eilish piece in this video. I didn't really like it when I got done with it. There was parts of it I was like, eh, there's a few parts I could notice I liked. But she loved it. She loved and appreciated the fact that I dedicated my time and my talent to making her something. So if this little spiel were to have a second point, it would be, don't let the underappreciation of your own art get in the way of creating art for other people. Because there are people out there who really appreciate your art and they want to see it and they need to see it. They need to see you create. So as much as you hate your own art, keep creating, baby. It's what you gotta do. You gotta keep on pushing on. No matter how bad you think something is, push through it, create it. Because if you finish that piece, the piece that you hate, that sketch that you started, that painting that's almost half done, it may be a masterpiece to someone else. And in the infamous words of Ricky, one man's garbage is another man person's good ungarbage. I couldn't have said it better myself. But that is it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, drop me a comment below to let me know if you underappreciate your art and if you know why you do that so I can tell you why you're wrong and you should appreciate your art. Nothing I love more than to tell commenters they're wrong. Mm -hmm. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate each and every one of you and keep on drawing on. Later.